Hi guys, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So there's a little chaos going on in the background. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm doing a very, very, very different video today. I did something like this a while back, but it was still a little bit more low key. I don't even know like how to describe it, but I am starting a freelancing um, series on my channel because I think it would be very beneficial to you guys because I just have one skin tone. Um, and I know that all of you who watch me, you all have different skin tones than I do. And I really want to show you guys how, what you guys can do with your face, with your specific skin tone. And since being a freelance makeup artist, I do makeup on so many different skin tones. I feel like there could be someone here who I do makeup on that can help you out. So I'm starting this series from here on out. This intro I'm filming now is actually after the footage that you're about ready to see. But um, yeah, because I didn't film an intro that day, but I did film it that day. But anyways, I'm also filming some today. I have two clients today that I'm doing. They both have a deeper skin tone. So all you deeper skin tone girls out there, those ones will be for you. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you guys enjoyed this Whoa. video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Hey guys, so for this first video in my new series, I'm not gonna do a full one like describing a tutorial. I really just wanna show you guys just the motions that I go through when I'm doing someone's appointment. This here today is a um, bridal makeup trial. Her wedding is in June. And we want to do a trial today so that we have lots of time to figure out exactly what, her, what we want her look to be. So we were just testing some things out today. I do apologize about the lighting, you guys. I was working on that. I've now found a good lighting setup that works so much better. So in my future ones, you will see better lighting. But right now, it's a little yellow and cool toned all at the same time. Anyway, so when I'm doing a client, I always start with the eyes first. Same with myself when, you know, when I'm doing my makeup. You know, for fallout reasons, especially when you're working on brides. Um, say you mess up on the eyeshadow, you don't have to wipe off an entire face of makeup just to fix it. But at the same time, I don't know how to describe it. I just I always do eyes first for fallout reasons, for just for just any purpose. I always feel like it suits everyone best and always basically it's less work in the end when you do your eyeshadow first. Anyway, so she went a little bit of shimmer on the lid, so after we went in with some neutral and warm browns, I just took a nice champagne goldish color to go on the lid because I felt like it would really complement her skin tone and it really really did you guys it was so gorgeous she came to me with what look she wanted she wanted you know nice uh, glam look with a red lip and everything it was so gorgeous you guys I love the look that she really wanted and I feel like we achieved it I think um, we did hawk and I think we are gonna be changing the lip color but for right now she looks so gorgeous with the red lip at the end anyway so I'm just finishing up her eyes and I will be doing a wing on her which you guys will see a little bit of the process when I do it. All right, so here I am doing her wing. I She had like the easiest eyes to do a wing on. She, she had a very flat area that I could do it, so the wing just, it went by so easily. There was no hiccups when I was doing the wings. They matched perfectly, it worked out great. So I do go in with gel when I'm doing a Klein's wing eyeliner, and then I will set it with a super pitch black um, eyeshadow just so that it stays matte throughout the day and it just really intensifies the black. I really like the Maybelline gel eyeliner but I feel like sometimes when I take pictures it can look a little gray so I now top it with a black eyeshadow just to you know cover all my bases so it looks super black and intense especially with the look she wanted you she really wanted a dark intense wing so once I finish it I am cleaning up the edges just to make it look nice and clean and then I take off any fallout I do go in with some mascara. I then move on to my client's face. I always do color correcting before I do foundation. I did already apply some primer, so I'm just taking an RCMA palette. You guys, I'm obsessed with this thing. I use it. For everything, I use it for, for contouring, for foundation, for concealer, I use it for everything. So right now I'm just going through, I already did do a little color correcting, but I'm going through, I'm just matching her color. So what I do is I kind of just go throughout the face and I put different tones I think match her and then I blend it all together and I always get the perfect match. I've never not had a client's foundation match and I applaud myself for that because color matching can be a little bit difficult. When I'm doing a client's foundation depending on their skin I'll sometimes use a brush I'll sometimes use a sponge and sometimes I'll do a combination of both for her I did a combination of both I started out with a brush and then I took a sponge to press it all into her skin now I'm doing her under eye 
I am just highlighting like normal like I do on anyone she had a little bit of dark circles um, you know we're all tired around here so I just did a little bit of correcting there and then I highlighted in the normal areas and I'm also doing some cream contour as I said she wanted a super glam look so we're doing cream contour and then I set it all with of course a powder contour but we did this because she really wanted her makeup to last and I feel like when you do a cream contour and then set it it really has some nice longevity to it so I'm setting in the highlight and the contour with a sponge I am baking under her eyes and then I'm going in and I'm going to be doing her brows. Her brows naturally had a really nice shape so I really just had to fill in all the sparse areas. I only had to use a pencil. I didn't have to use a powder as well. I just use a pencil and I always use the BH Cosmetics ones because as you guys know they are my favorite because they're super affordable and they're just like Anastasia. They're like five bucks. They're so good you guys. And then I just set it with the Anastasia Brow Gel in, you know, clear, of course. I really like to use this for my clients because it's like glue, so it can keep anyone's eyebrows in place. And I've seen some eyebrows that have a mind of their own. <laughs> So I'm just going through, I'm touching up her eyeshadow. I always like to do this after I've done the eyeliner just to make sure it looks exactly how I wanted it. And then I'm dusting off her bake and I'm going to be moving on to the rest of her face. I'm going to be applying her actual powder contour right here. I always use my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Um, I love it to death and my clients love it as well. They always ask, oh, what are you using? I always have to tell them I'm using the Lorac Contour Palette. Um, and I'm using my favorite Sigma F05. This is my favorite contour brush on myself and other people. It's just so good. It's a perfect size and it just gives a really nice natural looking contour. So now I'm cleaning up underneath with some RCMA loose powder and the no color powder. And I'm using a sponge to apply this. Now I'm doing blush and the blush palette I use on all my clients is the Morphe 9B blush palette because it has nine different colors. I then move on to highlight and today on her I used a champagne pop because it went really good with her skin tone. After dusting her off her bake, I do go on to her lower lash line with eyeshadow. I'm putting eyeshadow only on the outer third because I didn't want to close up her eyes. With her eye shape, this is the type of technique you want to use so that her eyes pop the most. At this point in the appointment, I always do some touch-ups before I move on to the lips. The lips are the last and final thing I do before spraying their face. So I'm just touching up contour, highlighting highlight and all of that. For her lips, I did three different reds. I did a berry red lip liner and then a bright red lip crayon and then a deep red lipstick to get the most dimension out of her lips. I didn't want them to look flat. I really wanted them to be, look flattering and have dimension. It looks so stunning in the end, you guys. I loved using three different reds on her, and she just has the most exotic shape to her lips. It really complemented them very well. If you guys are curious, I'm using MAC Ruby Woo as the main red lipstick, and then I'm using concealer to clean it up. You always want to do this when you guys use red lipstick or a dark lipstick. Then I'm doing some mascara on the lower lash line and I spray her face down to complete her look. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm going to be continuing this series and let me know how you guys want these videos done. Do you want to be tutorials or something like this? Let me know in the comments and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yes, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another unbagging. This is like my unbagging day. That's why when I do my unbaggings, you usually see me in the same outfit and makeup because I'm just like not trying to do that whole let me do my makeup let me do this then let me change and then let me do this I'm not down for that so <laughs> anyways I'm doing my Morphe me unbagging I just